The Huron's Pier Catholic District School Board approached the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry to establish a classroom fish hatchery program as part of the Eco Adventure program. This local partnership with the ministry and the board is the first of its kind in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, so what we've done here is uh, we've worked with uh, St. Kateri School to uh, set up an aquarium. Uh, the Tarantoris Fish Hatchery uh, provided 300 uh, lake trout eggs back in October. Uh, since then, uh, they've hatched uh, and now they're, they're fry, small fish, in the aquarium. And the intent then is to be able to wait till they, uh, they grow a little bit uh, larger and then to stock them into Upper Island Lake uh, in May of uh, 2016. So I picked up the eggs in uh, what was called an eyed stage, uh, brought them back here. Uh, my kids uh, counted the eggs, um, put them in a, a suspended fish incubator um, to watch them hatch. Um, we went through that process. They hatched into a stage where they um, uh, had a yolk sac, uh, went down into the substrate, uh, the rocks at that point. Uh, all the while, all these stages are being monitored um, with the kids. Um, and now they're at a stage where they're actually um, up into the water column and, and feeding. So we're having to feed them four times a day. Um, and that's sort of where we're at at this point. No, this is a first actually in Northern Ontario and a first in Sault Ste. Marie. So it was a great opportunity for students to see, um, you know, the, the whole process of raising fish uh, right from eggs, uh, right through to stocking them into uh, a local lake. The fish hatchery program is now another way that students from the St. Kateri Outdoor Learning Centre have a unique opportunity to learn about nature, ecosystems and biodiversity. Very exciting and I think I would say that I'm as excited as they are because this is as new for me as it is for them. So um, all of those things that I, that I spoke about but, but more specifically now they're uh, monitoring the health of the tank itself. Uh, so things like pH uh, levels and nitrate and uh, um, ammonia levels um, and so when they're they're doing that on a daily basis with testing strips um, and when they see that any of those levels aren't where they're supposed to be then we would change water to try and get those levels more balanced uh, they also did things um, like predict when the eggs were going to hatch uh, based on thermal units um, so there was mathematics involved there as well and so what's what's really interesting is the culminating activity of all this is that the kids are going to get the opportunity to see it through to these these fish being stocked ultimately in the spring. This partnership benefits both the ministry's fish stocking program as well as St. Kateri Learning Center's goals. So this is part of a larger uh, program that Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry has across Ontario. So uh, in Ontario uh, we're stocking up to uh, 1,200 lakes annually and we're producing about 8 million fish uh, which equates to about 200 metric tons of fish that are uh, planted in Ontario annu annually. And th this comes from nine of our provincial fish hatcheries, as well as some partners that we have out there. And uh, these are stocked on inland lakes, uh, half of it's in inland lakes and half of it's uh, on the Great Lakes. So it's been a, it's a, been a great uh, program uh, and it's been uh, going on for about 100 years now that uh, the ministry or you know, predecessor has been stocking fish into Ontario waters. I just I think that that uh, we've we've had two main goals here for the last couple of years, and uh, one of them is 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 making connections in the community, um, meaningful connections for the programming and the curriculum, and the other one is to to sort of secure an initiative each each year. And, and this particular um, you know fish hatching initiative is going to continue to go on, so it does both those things. And now uh, making a connection with the ministry that we think is going to go on. Um, and enrich and enhance our, our uh, programming. Uh, it's just been a success all the way around. The stocking of hatchery reared fish has been a major component of Ontario's fishery management program for over a hundred years and fish stocking continues to play an important role today. To learn more about the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry you can visit Ontario.ca and to learn more about the St. Kateri Learning Centre visit hscdsb.on.ca for Go On Shaw TV, I'm Greg Seiler.